Hi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch in here. Hello, I'm back. I was gone for a sec there, right? So I'm doing student teaching and it's great. I was super stressed out though. I'm doing better now, but about a month ago, I was super stressed out and I tried to film my second update to my pan those, pan that slash those palette slash eyeshadows and I watched like a minute of the footage and I was like, that is not, I don't wanna watch that. If I was watching me, I wouldn't wanna watch that. I was clearly just really stressed out and not having a good time. I don't know, at least in my eyes, maybe people who are watching it wouldn't have noticed, but I noticed and I, I just decided not to put that out there. And also I just didn't have time. A lot of you know I had an art show and that went well. That was a huge stress though, cause I was spending time being a student teacher and preparing for that art show. Student teaching is going great. I love my students. I'm not as stressed out as I was before. And right now it's my high school's spring break. So I'm catching up on this. This video is going to be covering all the progress I did in February and in March. I know I usually have really long videos, but this one might be even longer. So I hope you enjoy. All right. I think I feel so powerful spinning like that. You spin around and feel powerful, right? Sweet rainbows. Last year I panned brown sugar. That was my palette that I panned. And this year it's a combo of Chasing Rainbows by ColourPop and Sweet Talk by ColourPop. And that's what's in this palette. There are a few changes as you can imagine over the two months. So hear me out, pay attention. So this is my palette right now. As you can see, I have pan in wiggles and blurred lines. Before I forget to tell you, this is no longer West Side from the Sweet Talk palette. I put Jamocha back in to this project. Found out Jamocha and West Side were super similar and I was realizing, I kept struggling, like grappling with even wanting to pan West Side because I have this big pan in Jamocha. For me, what's the most satisfying is when I finish a shadow. So if I finish up Jamocha, that'd be great because I have other shadows that look very, very similar to it and probably function the same. So that's actually Jamocha now. I didn't hit pan on West Side, but I did hit pan on Wiggles and Blurred Lines. Let me look at my notes. Blurred Lines. I hit pan on it on February 4th after one more use and 13 uses in total. So I had already had a ton of use on blur lines before the project, and now I'm still using it. In February, I used it five times in total, and in March, I used it six times. I love blurred lines, honestly. I use it all the time, but my goal is to try to finish it. I would love to finish blurred lines. We'll see. Just like I said, the more shadows I finish, the happier. I'll be. Wiggles I hit pan on after three uses in February on February 15th and the total amount of uses that I have tracked because I used it a ton before it was in my pan that palette towards the end last year but the total amount of uses I have tracked on Wiggles is 81 uses. It took definitely more than 81 uses to hit pan on it and I use a ton of it when I do use it. So ugh, it, that was a lot. I also want to finish Wiggles. Honestly, I would love to finish all these, but I know I'm not going to. Other updates of the Pinnet palette. Here are like the numbers. And more close up. Feel Free is getting a good dip. It has this weird thing going on where it's kind of like shattering. It's shattered a little bit. It's really powdery. Prism, I'm starting to get more progress on because you can see like the shadow pulling away on the edge. Right now, Feel Free is deepening up my outer corner and I have wiggles on, but nothing else in my palette besides Prism and my eyebrows. That's my Pan That Palette, Sweet Rainbows. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. 
This sweater has the artwork of the artist Raul de Nieves and up in Buffalo there's a show now. I don't remember what the show's called but I loved his work. He does like faux stained glass. I couldn't resist this sweater at all. I loved, I loved it. The show was really good. I'll pop up its name. Maybe you could check it out. I don't know. Now for my Pando's eyeshadows. I have a lot of progress because even though I didn't have a lot of days where I could do makeup, I really took advantage of the days I wore makeup. I would do touch-ups on my makeup. I would target mostly my Pando's eyeshadows. It was still fun. I still used other eyeshadows in my collection, but I really did focus on the shadows in my Pando's eyeshadows. Technically, least amount of uses is Yajid from the Magic Mini palette by Juvia's Place. And I just saw too much Tasha's video and she has Yajid too. She pronounced it differently. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I thought I looked it up right, but she pronounced it differently. So I don't know. I'm going to just keep calling it Yajid. And I used it three times. This is my um, colorful single eyeshadows palette. Notice there's a lot of empty spots. I might explain myself later. So there's a lot of shadows missing because I made my own palette using my singles, but here's Yajid. Again, it's from the Magic Mini palette by Juvia's Place. I just have it depotted. My last video, I was wearing it in like a cloud look. So I used it as an eyeliner. That's how I got a lot of use out of it. But before it rolled my project, there was a crack in it that I took advantage of. And it's a super powdery eyeshadow. So it was actually really easy to use up, like to hit pan on. And I'm really excited that it didn't take that many uses to roll it out. It took three more uses in February to hit pan on it. I hit pan on February 16th and it was eight uses in total. Okay, the next shadow that I used the least is... <sighs> There's a cloud. And guess what on this one? There's a cloud! It took two uses in February and two uses in March. Um, and then this big pan showed up. So yeah, I had used it quite a few times before it rolled into my project because it's like this beautiful orange metallic shadow. And it's a super shock. So super shocks are really easy to hit pan on. And I used this in a cloud look. So I had to use a lot of it for one look and yeah. That's how I hit pan super fast, only on four uses. I used it two times in February, two times in March, hit pan in March on the 9th, and it took four uses in total in my project. So there's, there's a cloud, there's, there's a cloud. Yep, um, it's beautiful, I love it, I love it so much. Should I swatch things? <sighs> Swatched Yajid, and there's a cloud. The next one with the least amount of uses is Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream, an old friend of the Pandos Eyeshadows projects, but look at Cherry Juice right now. So this was in the project at the very beginning, and then this also was in the project, and I hit pan on Cherry Juice. And then these two were in the project last year. I also think it's weird that, I don't know, like they're in the same column together, like on in each year. I also use cherry juice in a cloud look with There's a Cloud. I like experimenting with that shape and it's been super fun for me. I love doing it and I'm probably gonna keep doing it because clouds are also like important in my artwork too. I hit pan on cherry juice after five uses on March 20th. In total I used it 14 times in this project but I had definitely used it before as well. So glad cherry juice is rolled out because it, it's purplier than Feel Free in my Pan That palette, but I was kind of using this over Feel Free because Pan Those Eyeshadows are just more fun to hit pan on because I get to roll something in. I love getting more use out of Berries and Cream. It's one of my neutral palettes that I own, one of the few neutral palettes I own. And it's just a colorful neutral palette too. I don't know, it's just good quality. I really do like this palette. And I wouldn't mind having it roll in again, honestly. So thus far I've hit pan on three shadows. Baywatch from Colourpop's main squeeze palette. I keep referencing last year's project, but um, this shadow and this shadow were in last year's project. 
And in this year we have Baywatch. You can see maybe a dip is happening. But no pan yet. I love Baywatch. I'll pop up some looks. It's it's really cute. I think it's a really cute metallic. I don't know, I really like it. I'm so glad it's in the project. And I just love that this ColourPop 9 pan is getting so much use. A lot of you know that I have so many pinks and reds and purples in my collection. And it's just nice to see this little palette with so much wear and tear on it. I like, I love that. Um, I forgot to swatch things, so I'll swatch on this hand. I swatched Cherry Juice on this hand, and I swatched Baywatch over here, but I should have swatched it on my other hand because I will swatch new shadows over here, but you get to see it twice. Baywatch is beautiful red metallic-y shadow, and Cherry Juice is like that purplier dark shadow. Glad it's in my project. Can't wait to keep working on it. Love you. Mwah. The next shadow I used, this is the second most shadow that I used. It's from the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette and it's called Love. There is a shadow missing in it because again I moved around a lot of shadows um, into a separate palette to like experiment and I may show you. I don't know. It depends if like one of those shadows rolls in, then I'll show you. Here is Love. I have not hit pan on it. There is a dip happening. But yeah, nothing major. It gets to stay. And I love Love. It was great. I had a lot of good shadows for the month of February. Even though I don't really like adhere to like... Well, you should wear these certain colors around this time of the year. It was still nice to wear some Valentine's-y looks around Valentine's Day. And it was nice to have shadows in my project that would help me do that. So these two are staying. You can see how cute they are. And I have love in my outer transition, whatever, right now. I just need to keep working at it. It's probably going to take a lot of uses. I used it six times in February and seven times this month. So that's already 13 uses and it's probably going to be a ton more. The last shadow I need to talk about is actually a shadow I kept calling it by its wrong name. And I can thank Becca, Becca Lynn. She had this shadow in her project. And she said it the right way. And I was like, wait, what? I kept calling it pearlescent because that's what it is. It's pearlescent. But its name is Pearlfection. And when she said its name, I was like, oh, shit. So from my Morphe 39S Such a Gem palette, I have rolled in Pearlfection. It's right up here. And I've hit pan. Look at that. Here is Sketch and Scratch. So this is the shadow that was in my project. I hit pan on it just yesterday on February 1st. It took 27 uses in total to hit pan. And before this project, I had used the shadow a ton. I used it a lot on my brow bone, my inner corner. Right now it's on my brow bone and a little bit in my inner corner, but I layered a different shadow on top. And yeah, I'm glad that I hit pan though. This palette has seven pans in it now. I hope more shadows roll in because I like the amount of pans in this. It's just, it's really satisfying for me. Now that I'm doing this project for the second year, it's just really cool to see all the pans from last year and more pans showing up this year. If you ignore red bottoms, those are the four shadows I hit pan on and I'm rolling four shadows in. These ones I'm keeping, I'm super excited because it's gonna be a lot of change. Four shadows. So I got my randomizer, I got my spreadsheet with all of my eligible eyeshadows in it. Look at this little dude. Just saying hello, like so hard. Can you just say hello a little less? My minimum is one, my maximum is 235. I have a couple shadows that 
aren't in the spreadsheet. I don't have pressed glitters in the spreadsheet. I don't have shadows I already hit pan on. I don't have my Give Me Glow singles in this. And I got It's Freaking Bats palette recently. I don't have this in the spreadsheet either. My rule is if I get a shadow that looks too similar to any of the shadows in my Pan That palette or Pan Those Eyeshadows, I get to roll it out. Let's randomize. Number one, it always does that. It always just has 41 as the first one. 185. I always forget to have a pen to write these down. <gasps> 185. Right, right, right. Beautiful. 31. 24. Those are some early numbers. 145. Let me look at what those are. I'm a little nervous. Like happy and nervous. 31 is Baywatch, which is currently in my project. So let's randomly re-roll another number. 232. So let's talk about this one's 232 that rolled in just now. And it's from the Pretty Rich Too Faced palette that I depotted. It's don't care at all. Don't care at all, okay? It's this gold shimmer. Mm, okay, last project I ended up having two like honey gold shadows. There's don't care at all. It's gorgeous, like look at that shine. I know I have honey dipped from the berries and cream palette that's really high quality and I don't trust Too Faced quality to be any better than that, but it looks good right now. I don't know, it's just boring. Boring. The other shadow is actually also in here. It is Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette, but it's just this dark brown. And I've used Cypress Umber a ton before and like mixed it in with Franken shadows before. So it shouldn't be too difficult to hit pan on it, but it's just not fun. It's okay, I'll make gorgeous looks. So those are two of the shadows I rolled in thus far. The other ones... Oh, this one's fun though, but it's blue. <laughs> this is On One from the Chasing Rainbows ColourPop palette right there, but it also has like a dip in it. So we might be good. Like this also might hit pan super fast. But look, isn't that like... That's pretty. Maybe I can mix on one with this don't care at all. Oh, it looks really pretty. I'm glad this rolled in. Um, I'm sad the other ones rolled in, but what are you gonna do? The last shadow that rolled in is the one I think is also in Becca Lynn's project or was in her project and it's Catch the Light. I think we both ended up having these in our projects. I don't know, that's like, we're linked. Our fates are intertwined. I'm kidding, I'm so sorry. But I'm glad we're getting more use out of the Morphe Such a Gem palette. This one's pretty and I already have a dip in it. It's just another neutral. Like, what the heck, guys? You can't see the sparkle too well, let me... There you go. It's so pretty, like it's all pretty, I love it. And Catch the Light I'll use so much because it's a sparkly, lighter, it's like pearlescent but it's sparklier. And it's more champagne-y, like it's pale, pale beige. It's just not as exciting, but it's also exciting because it's just a whole bunch of new shadows and it's moving away from those pinks and reds that I seem to always get. Those four look really nice together. It'll be great, it'll be great. I hit two pans on my Pan That palette and four pans in my Pandos eyeshadows, and this is what I'll be working with for the next month. I will be trying to update more consistently. I just had to skip February's update because of life, and I've never skipped an update before, so I, I felt bad, but then I was like, this is for me, I have to take care of myself, and I'm sorry if any of you were just like wondering what was up. I'm going to try to film more videos before the spring break ends and get them uploaded for you, and I really appreciate all of you. It just feels nice knowing that people are looking forward to something that I'm making. I hope you're doing well. Again, just keep track of human rights issues. 
a lot has happened these past couple months. Um, like the shootings and things like that. I don't want to be a downer, but it's just be educated, donate if you can, and watch out for the people that need you to watch out for them and take care of yourself. Hope you're well mentally and physically and bye, bye, bye.